Hi everyone, it's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesigns.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click the little blue button. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. Okay, everyone, I'm gonna work on a new project today. So some of you were here when I thrifted this piece, so this little base piece. I got four of them and they had this little candle piece on the top. I literally hate this thing. Like, ew. Um, we're going to repurpose this base though. So it's a nice chonky base. And um, first things first, I am going to have to get it cleaned. Like cleaned and sanded. And then we're going to paint it. Um, I have some wooden plates. We're going to make a, a pedestal plate situation, make it as cute as possible, maybe put some decals on it, some of the bird decals that we have, and um, make a cute little spring thing that I can put a cloche on, and I think it'll be cute. Exactly. I'm hoping. In my brain, it looks good. So we're going to go with what my brain says, debating whether I should fill the cracks. I do want it to be shabby chic, so maybe I'm not going to fill any of the cracks. Maybe not. I think, I think not. But um, first things first, I'm going to get down and clean this thing. So it's gross. I'm going to actually take it into my kitchen, get some Dawn on it, and scrub all of this so this was sitting on top obviously and i believe wax has dripped because there's wax in here i believe wax has dripped down onto this portion of the pillar i can see a little here actually so i know it has um and i'm gonna get a scrub brush on it like just a, a wire brush and scrub it off maybe if you had some steel wool or something like that i'm gonna i'm gonna scrub the crap out of it basically scrub it and then when I'm done with that we'll give it a good sanding after it dries and uh, base coat it it's dry we need to sand it so it does have a stain and a clear coat on top so I'm just gonna take my palm sander and just sand it all over give it a really good sand um, maybe it's not dry in the bottom a little bit there but I'm still gonna sand it anyway I'm gonna sand the whole thing just so our paint has something to bite into. And I realized that uh, a lot of the all-in-ones, all that stuff say you don't need to do this step. You will never be sorry you prepped the surface. So I'm gonna prep the surface, okay? Um, it's noisy and dusty and you don't need to watch it. So it's just sanding the whole thing, okay? It's dusty. I went ahead and I rounded off the sharp edges. So this was very squared off in places like down here and down here, um, and I rounded it off. So if you don't like that step, don't do that step. If you're like, why does she keep rounding off all these corners? Hey, you do you. Mine isn't going to have a sharp corner. It's going to have a rounded corner. So I just put my palm sander on the edge and let it kind of do its little magic, which there's still a little spot here, so I'll show you. i show you. So I've got my palm sander and there's this little sharp bit here and I'm going to just take it there we are now they're all really rounded um just because I like to do shabby I want this to match that mail sorter that we did sort of the same kind of vibe and um to do that I want it I want it to have the rounded edges so I'm gonna do the same thing I did with that and just soften up the edges a bit now we'll remove the dust and we'll get this base coated in the same pink so it'll be great it's gonna be awesome it'll be wonderful trust me I'm a professional all right I got the dust off of it and I'm just gonna base coat it in the same pink that we did with the mail sorter this one it's so pretty so pretty I just really like it I'm going to coat this whole thing 
and pink. Okay. So I picked up this wooden plate for a dollar. It was originally $5.99 when the first person bought it. I like to pick these up when I see them. So any kind of unfinished wood, things like that, that can be repurposed or crafted into something. I mean, a dollar <laughs> as opposed to six dollars, I'll take it. So we're going to paint this to match the base um, in the same pink. Ooh, that's coming off nice. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get this painted up too. And then we're going to drill a hole in the middle. This is going to be our top. We're going to put a cloche on it. It's going to be so ready. Yes, it is. Um, I'm going to give it a little sand, though. And I think I might actually sand it by hand. It has a bit of a rough edge to it where, I mean, this is just finished processing kind of stuff. So you do have like a little feathering texture. It feels very soft when you run your hand over it. That's the grain standing up. You're going to get like paint when it when you put the paint on it it's going to be rough and hard so you want to tamp that down well so i'm going to get actually a high grit what do i have here a one this is a 150 that should do the trick i think i have a 220 grit too mm. hang on let me see if i can get a higher grit you got a 220 so awesome. It says right on the back, 220. I have a 600 grit over there too, but that would just be stupid. I don't need that. That's these, the higher you go with the grit, it's considered a finishing sand. So for something like this, where we're trying to lay this down and make it as smooth as possible, we want a higher number. Um, 220 will do the trick. Hopefully I can get it close enough for you, but um, let's see. I, don't, I can't see what you see. So here we've got the texture and then over here where I just sanded it, you can see it looks smoother. That's what we want. And get rid of all those little fuzzies. So I'm going to spend probably 10, 15 minutes hand sanding this whole thing and then I'm going to get some paint on it. Okay. And now it's just really smooth. <coughs> I feel like that's the step that a lot of DIYers miss when they grab these pieces at the, you know, craft store or whatever is they, they forget that finishing sand and then they do their project and you can kind of tell that they just painted right over the wood. Uh, you can always seal it with a primer and then sand it again if you want to ensure that you're having a really smooth surface. Um, sand between coats, just a light sand. You don't you just light sand all those little fuzzies down and you'll be good to go. And actually, I think I want to hit just the edge of this little bit more here. You don't have to become a like molester of all your stuff. Just touch it. Gotta touch it. You have to run your hands on it. And if it doesn't feel smooth to you, it's not gonna feel smooth to your customer or whoever sees your piece. And now it's smooth. And now it's smooth. And my thumb, best tool God gave you to find out if you missed a spot. Just run your finger along the edge. But I'm gonna get a coat of pink on this to match the base, then we'll find the center. Well, we'll wait till we finish painting it, I think. I can see the center. but I want to make sure it is dead center. Um, I have a video on that, how to find the center of a circle to make sure you drill that hole perfect every time. Um, it's dead easy. So if you haven't watched that video, go watch that video. And I'm going to get a coat of paint on this. Okay, before we do anything else, we need to find the center of this circle so we can drill a hole. What I've done here is I've Flip the plate over on a sheet of paper and I've traced the circle. So I did a full tutorial on this once before, but it, it bears repeating because I think this is what stops people from doing a lot of the projects they want to do is they're not sure how to find the center of something. So this is how my dad taught me to do it. And this is how I do it is you cut the circle out of a piece of paper. 
And it's dead easy, right? Like, once you see me do this, you're like, oh, I know what she's going to do. But, you know, I don't want to do math and I don't want to do geometry. So we're going to do it the easy way. And cut the circle out. And don't worry, this won't go to waste. I will cut tags out of this when I'm done with it. <laughs> It'll get used. It won't go to waste. So the only thing you need to do to find the center of the circle is fold the circle in half, line it up so all the edges meet. And then you're going to fold it in half again and make a triangle. Make sure those line up nice and even. And there we go. So we've got a little fan here. And then you just cut the center. You just cut the tip off. And the hole we just made is in the dead center of your project. So we're going to mark our plate by putting this down. Lay that on top. Line that up with the edges. And then where's my pen? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Lost my pen. This is the center of your project. So before I paint anymore, I'm going to drill a hole. And I am going to countersink that hole so that the screw can be in, and then we'll have to fill it and paint over the top of it because I don't want the screw to show. I mean, I don't want to screw in the middle of this beautiful plate that you're going to put stuff on, right? So let me get a drill bit here. And then we're not going to go all the way through for the uh, countersink. We're going to slowly make a divot in the plate. For whatever screw we're using to go in there. Let's find a screw. <laughs> I'll pull the side what screw I'm going to use. I think a three quarter inch should be fine. And I have to drill a little wider hole. I'm not gonna change out my bit. I'm just gonna go a little wider with this like this. should do the trick. I could feel like genuine woodworkers having a stroke right now watching me do that. My dad would probably have a stroke too. All right, so the, the head goes down in there nicely. I'm going to then fill it after we get that attached to our, our piece, but I'm gonna paint the pink on this side first. So it matches this. Um, we are going to put a green over the top to match the mail sorter that we made the other day or yesterday. What day was that? What day? I don't remember my days. But let me get a coat of pink on here and we'll go from there. Luckily for me, this one already had a hole from the, uh, the candle holder thing that was on it. I am going to, it's still wet, it's still damp. But I'm going to go ahead and screw this in and screw this down to here before I put the green on. I don't think I want to glue it. Debating whether I should put adhesive on it. Part of me goes, what if they want to take it apart someday? And it's like, why are you worried about the next guy, right? It's like, let's just put some adhesive, make sure it's as stable as possible because I do want to put a cloche on this. And if I put a, clo a glass cloche on it, I don't want it to be at all unstable. I'm gonna grab my power, my power grip here. So I've got some Loctite construction adhesive. I like Loctite. 
not sponsored by anyone. So if I'm telling you I like it, it's because I like it. Check out my Amazon store. It's probably in there. <laughs> I don't know what's in there. Um, I should put that back on the board, but I will in a minute. I just want to get this drilled in. Change out my bit. Get this through here. So you can see the screw popping through there. And get that placed right in the center of this. All right, it is in the other hole that is in there. All right, and the um, screw is down in there. So I'm going to fill that as soon as this paint dries. I'm just gonna use a little spackle. We're gonna fill over that, the top of that so that you won't see the indent at all. And um, yeah, I will go from there as far as, uh, I wanna put a layer of green to make it match the mail sorter thing that we made with the bird on it yesterday. And then uh, we'll decide if we're going to put any embellishments on this. If we did, it would probably be on the lip of the plate up here because you're not really going to notice it down here. And this will just be pretty the way it is. But I think for spring, for Easter, um, having like a little cloche and maybe a bunny in there and some eggs would be kind of cute. It would be cute. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I could be like way off base and it's gonna look like an atrocious nightmare but i don't think so sometimes in my head i can see things and it's like i can see how it's supposed to look and this is one of the pieces where i was like i want to get a plate on this and i want to get a cloche on it and i want to put easter stuff in it maybe a nest would be nice some eggs i don't know I'll, I'll decide what goes in the cloche later, but let's just finish this pedestal first. I'm going to wait for this paint to dry. Again, wait for things to dry, wait for things to dry. And then we're going to get um, spackle in there, as you can see. It's still really wet. It needs to dry. Boy, I've got my little apron on. All right, I'll come back in about 15 minutes and get some spackle in there. I'm just going to use the pink spackle to fill it because they're not talking about something that's going to get a lot of uh, handling. It just needs to do the job and I'm going to way overfill it because it's going to shrink. And I don't care what they say about it don't shrink, it shrinks. They all shrink. 15 minutes or so, another 15 minutes of waiting for stuff to dry. Time to sand. Cover our sins. Like it never happened. Time to wax it. And paint it green. And now we wait for it to dry. And I'm going to let it dry until tomorrow. And yes, I am bravely showing you guys what I think we've come up with as our solution to the hair problem. Um, to push those wacky bangs back. This is the test run. Um, obviously, I'll make sure this is all gelled down in the front. Um, I have an even nicer dressier headband. It's got black rhinestones um, and crystals on both edges that I plan to wear with the outfit. And then we just poofed this up, <laughs> curled it, and did the best this is the best I can do without wearing a hat so um of course I don't love it this doesn't feel natural to me it doesn't feel normal I don't like it at all 
Um, but Victoria says it's acceptable. Uh, my mother-in-law said it looked better with the headband and my husband likes the headband better than the hat. So I did have a hat option too. And we decided the headband is the way to go. So it's, I'm going, I'm getting my awards. For those of you who are worried, um, I give myself 24 hours to feel sorry for myself. And then I got to get back up because life goes on and it is just hair. <laughs> so will I be confident? No, probably not. I mean, I'm going to feel awkward with this, with this. It's just going to be what it is, but it's at least better than seeing the bangs and, and I mean, I don't, I haven't worn my hair like this since it was longer and I would wear a ponytail, which, so I'm not like opposed to it being away from my face, but just not used to it with short hair. But this is kind of what we got. That's what we got. Thursday. It's Thursday. And I'm going to hold my head up. And I'm going to go up and I'm going to get that award. And I'm going to be angry. <laughs> I'm not going to cry anymore. <laughs> really want to. I'm not going to. I am going to be spiteful. I'm going to, I'm going to get up in spite of everything. And I'm going to go up there and I'm going to get my award. I may even let him take my picture. I don't know. We'll see. And, and someday we'll look back and we'll laugh, right? Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold you to that. We're going to look back on it and laugh someday. But um, this needs to dry overnight before I can distress it. So we're going to let the green dry. I should probably do my nails for this thing. Not like this. I should probably actually use nail polish instead of latex. <laughs> I may have to stop painting. I have a client that needs me to paint a table for her though. So I do have another project that I have to get in here. So I need to get this done so I can make room. And um, it's just, I'm going to be a mess. I mean, I want to have to figure out something for the nails, but... Thanks for watching and God bless all of you for the love and support that you showed me. Everybody who reached out to me with suggestions, you know, I, I appreciate it. I really do. Um, cause we've all been there. I think we've all been there. We've all been there. It was just my turn my turn so we're gonna wear this i'm gonna do this well it'll be a nicer headband this is just like a trainer headband i didn't want to wreck the good one i bought um it's wire and it's really beautiful um i'll take pictures from the event show you guys but um i didn't want to wreck that one so i've got the trainer headband i don't think it's bad I don't think it's horrible. At least you can't see the bangs. I got them all slicked down. This side is the one that's really short. That one did not want to, did not want to stay hidden. So that is, that is gelled down tight. Um, it's really long over here. And as you can see, my hair naturally parts right there. So I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to gel that all down before the event, but we'll be okay. It'll be okay. It's going to be great. We're going to get through this tomorrow. We will distress this and uh, figure out which bird is going to go on this one to match our little piece that we did yesterday. So, and then I'm going to get a cloche on that bad boy. And I'm thinking nest and eggs and maybe a bunny because bunnies don't lay eggs. <laughs> it'll be silly, but it'll be awesome. All right. Thanks for watching, you guys. Happy junkin'. Bye. 
Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and, of course, more Junkin' videos.